back to my channel. Today we're going to do the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus unboxing. I do feel as though this box arrived pretty late this month, considering I normally get my box between the 10th and the 17th. We are on the 21st of the month, and now is when I got it. I literally picked it up at the post office now, like right before getting home. So I figured since it's a little late in the month, I just want to film it and show you guys what it is that I got in my box. I did add a few items on here. To be honest, I don't even remember what my add-on was. I feel, no, I think I did one add-on. Yeah, I did one add-on, and then the other items that I'll show you guys are items that I actually claimed uh, with my points. This here is what my box looks like. We have a ton of little goodies up in here, so let's dig in. The item I added on to my box this month are these red cherry lashes. I used to only purchase red cherry lashes when I first started getting into applying lashes. I would do red cherry lashes as well as like drugstore lashes. And I just figured why not just go back to items that I loved. Now unfortunately they didn't have the type of style that I would normally get from the brand. And these are in Chloe, but honestly, guys, like, I don't know how I feel about it because they look super, like, plasticky and a little on the cheapy, cheapy side. So, I don't know. I feel like now that I've been exposed to, like, faux mink lashes or actual mink lashes, you know, like, really nice synthetic kind of looking real lashes. I don't know. They just... The items I claimed points for are these two right here. This here is the First Aid Beauty Coconut Water Cream. This is super tiny, but I don't mind it because I'm going to save this on the side and I'll use this for traveling purposes. So if I go away for the weekend, I'll just grab this little baby and pack this one to go. Uh, but we have a full size because I got this in my BoxyCharm box. So, I mean, anytime I get an opportunity to get additional uh, products similar to this one, I take advantage. It doesn't matter if it's a travel size or not. I would have never actually paid for a size like this, but the fact that I traded in points for it, it's not too bad. The last item I traded in points for is this Lord & Berry strobing pencil. This is in 1153. I thought, you know, it does have like a highlight effect. So it's supposed to help you kind of give your, uh, wherever you're going to apply it really, a strobing effect. So I would use it over on my brow bone. I would also use it on the inner uh, corner of my eyes. So I figured, I mean, I honestly thought, once again, I thought this would be a little bigger. But I can't complain because I used points to actually get this product. So it's a nice way to expose myself to new products and I've never tried this actual item before so this is going to be something fun to play around with. Now let's get into the actual items that were sent to me in the subscription service. The first one is Il Makeage, Makeage, Il Makeage, I hope I'm saying it right, Il Makeage. This is the high volume and intense curl mascara in Icon. This is black. And uh, for me, mascaras, a huge deal would be what the wand looks like. I know Smashbox has a mascara with very similar packaging. And this is what the wand looks like over here. It is more of a plasticky type of wand, either plastic or rubber. I'm not sure. We'll, we'll use this today. Not sure how I feel about it, though. Um, the formula seems to be... Very light and loose, but moussey at the same time. A little weird. It looks like it's really, really black. So we're going to apply this on the eyes and see how it kind of like plays out <laughs> once we actually use it. Next, we have this product right here. Its name is the Go To Face Hero. So I'm assuming that's the brand Face Hero. A powerful and protective face oil. This is a one fluid ounce container and it does have a dropper, which is always great. I'm going to read the directions on how to use this. It is not a clear oil, it's a yellow one. I'm a little weird about using face oils right before applying my makeup, but we're gonna play around with her today. Next, we have this Avene Moisture Mask. It is a soothing moisture mask. This is a 50 ml, so 1.69 fluid ounce container. It does have a little seal that I'm gonna pull off. and. It's a moisture mask. I'm assuming it's a moisturizer. I'm going to blend it out, but it is. it looks just like a lotion, and 
It smells like a lotion also. It's not a very strong scent. All right, I'm reading the instructions on the box. It says, apply the soothing moisture mask in thick layers to the face and neck. Leave on for 10 to 15 minutes, then carefully remove excess product with a cotton pad. Finish by spraying a fine mist of Avene Thermal Spraying Water. I did not get that in the box, but it is a product that you have to apply and then remove. So I am going to leave this product for later on tonight. You won't see me use it on camera, but I, I will be using it and seeing how I like it or not. It does seem to be really nice and on the thick side, so I can see why they say to wash it off. I also got this Yensa Color and Face Tone Up Primer. It says Essential Glow on it. It has eight different benefits, which is amazing. And it says smooth a thin layer over clean moisturized skin. Let it set for 15 seconds, then apply Yensa BC foundation for like a flawless coverage. I don't have the Yensa foundation, but I will be using this as a primer today. This is what the packaging looks like. It's a little squeezy type of container. It doesn't have a seal on it. That's something you guys should definitely know just in case you receive this product. You're not freaking out thinking, oh my God, was my product used? And I am going to blend it out. It is not a silicone based primer. Feels and kind of looks like a tinted moisturizer. Doesn't really smell like much of anything, but you can kind of see that it adds a little bit of luminosity, but the little pencil that I received has a way more luminosity than that. We're gonna try this on the skin. Hopefully, once I apply it on my face, we'll see a difference. I also got the Wander Beauty Wondrous Seascape palette. It is a very small, travel-friendly, compact palette. These pans are huge and this is just so pretty actually. I like this pop of blue. I may or may not be using this one today. I want to swatch the wow. Okay. Boom. Let's see this gold. Look at that gold. This is a nice kind of pale pink shade and let's see this one right here. It's called sea foam. It has a nice shift to it. Every single shade here is really pretty. They are all metallic finishes except this one right here is called sand dollar and this one here is going to be perfect for a transition shade last but not least i received a pixie product you guys know how much i love pixie products this is pixie skin treats glow peel pads i don't own this yet so it is really amazing to have received this and i'm assuming this is similar to their glow tonic but in the form of peel pads and this is a huge container, by the way. If I can see how many does it contain, it contains 60 pads in it, 20% glycolic acid and rose water. I'm trying to open it, okay. And it does have a seal, so let's open her up. Okay, this is what the little pads look like. This is really awesome. I'm gonna use this today once I remove my makeup before I start using like the oil and the primer. We're just going to like rub one of these or two or three all over my face to just really deep clean. Now that I showed you every single item I received in my box, I'm gonna go pull my hair up real quick, clean my face, come back, and we're gonna try some of these products out. And we're back. I'm going to start off with the Pixie peel pads, the peel pads. I am going to use this just to kind of clean my edges, really get into my pores because no matter how much cleanser you use sometimes, not sometimes, most of the, no, I'm lying. Every single time you'll see that there's makeup that was left behind. And I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's kind of gross, I know. And I use a rag to remove my cleanser and my makeup, but the skin is like a sponge. It absorbs. I feel like that should be like a logo on a shirt. The skin is like a sponge. It absorbs. Now the instructions say this is a little different, so you're supposed to leave the solution on your skin for two to three minutes and then go and rinse it all out just to get the rest of the solution off of your skin, which is exactly what I'm going to do. Okay, Doki, I went ahead and rinsed it all off. Now that my skin is bare once again, I am going to go in with this product here. Again, this is the Face Hero, a powerful and protective face oil. I feel like a lot of people on social media like Instagram and YouTube will like automatically like do one of these, but I'm always scared. Oh, I'm always scared 
that I'm going to end up ruining my tops because... Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, I can't do that. I'm not going to fake the funk. I'm always afraid that, it, like, solutions are going to drip onto my clothing and then damage them. Like, oils especially, like, really damage my tops and stuff my skin is really looking hydrated and glowy so i'm gonna move on to the next product which is the yensa primer i don't think i need any more glow then again i don't feel like this really gave too much of a glow to the back of my hand i do like the idea of it being a primer and it is not a flat white it is more of like a cream like a light cream shade i think i used way too much primer but <laughs> I always go a little like ham, so hopefully this is gonna work out and my makeup comes out good because if not, it's on me. I moved ahead and applied basically my entire face and primed my lids. I noticed that the primer almost makes my foundation look lighter than it's supposed to, which is why I needed to balance it out a little bit and add more bronzer. I found that a little weird because I've used that foundation with nothing else on top just to cover up some dark spots or some hyperpigmentation that I was experiencing and I never needed to go above and beyond to bronze because it was literally my exact shade. So I was just like, why do I look so freaking pale? So I really had to go in and bronze. So I'm going to try the primer once again with other foundations to see. But so far, I was just like, why? Like I said, I did prime my lid, so we're gonna move on and use this beautiful palette. I am going to use Sand Dollar, which is a neutral kind of cream shade, and we're gonna apply that all over the crease, and we're gonna blend that out. And then I wanna try this blue shade so bad, so I'm going to dive in with an eyeshadow brush. All right. Wonder Beauty, you're doing your thing with this eyeshadow formula, cause Look at that pigment. Now we can continue to build color. I'm gonna go back in with the original brush that I used for my crease, no additional product. I'm going to blend the edge out because I want the blue to transition very gracefully along with the beige color that we used. And because we lost a little bit of the vibrance of the blue, I am going to just tap some more of the blue on the bottom portion of the eye. I am not touching that crease, girl, because I've been blending for a good minute and it is so graceful right now. I'm not, I'm not trying to ruin it. I used the brush on this golden shade called Golden Reef to see how it would transition from the brush to the back of my hand. And this metallic foil is just so pressed. Even though it looks amazing on the finger, I feel like it's going to apply a lot better on the lid if I use it my fingers, which is what we're going to do because with the brush, I didn't really get much pigment on the brush. Like, so, if I'm honest. So, we are just going to tap that shade directly on the middle portion of the eye. I'm going to use my pinky to kind of blend that out. So far, so good. I want to use another shade on the lower area of my eye. I feel like I'm just gonna go in with the blue. I'm going to use this Farrah brush and I'm just going to smoke out the bottom portion of the eye just a little bit. I feel like any other shade that I use won't help it really tie together the way I want to. So we're just gonna use the blue. I used my Ardency and Mobster eyeliner to darken my waterline. I will tell you, I did not experience any fallout with these eyeshadows, which is a beautiful thing because my canvas was already set. Now we're gonna move on and try the mascara. Not really looking at it, I mean, I don't know what it's gonna look like considering that I have a smoky type of look going on. So a more neutral look would allow us to really see how great this mascara will make our lashes look, but it kind of is what it is at this point. I am digging this eye look, so we're gonna stick with it. I am gonna pull this mirror out and just... All right, I know you can see my bottom lashes. I've done nothing to the top lashes, but guys, this wand is actually pretty comfy. I am going to move on and do the top lashes, but it has already impressed me with the bottom lashes, so let's see what it looks like on the top. 
Okay, so my verdict right now is I like the effect it gives my bottom lashes, but not necessarily the effect that it gives my top lashes. I like my top lashes to look like full and just really wispy and it just coated my lashes, made them look darker, but that's about it. I didn't get more length and I didn't get more volume. So it is a no-go for the top, but an A plus for the bottom. The last product I want to use out of this box, and I know it was one of those products that I traded in for points, but I want to use this on my brow bone because it's supposed to add a highlight. I'm going to use it on my inner corner too. I just kind of want to try it out and see how it works. All right, I think it's really pretty if you blend it out on the brow bone. It kind of looks like you applied highlighter, nothing too dramatic. I do like the effect that it gives me on the inner corners if I don't blend it out. So I'm not going to blend it out because I just gives me that, 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 I don't know, like it catches the light really nicely. I want to add a little bit of highlight to my cheekbone, so I'm going to use this shade here. It is a beautiful champagne color. It is called Champagne Harbor, and I am going to kind of blend it out see what that looks like on the cheeks if you blend it out it looks like a highlighter it's really pretty it reminds me of the artist couture powders so it does have a little bit of glitter in it but it's not super crazy and it attracts the light really nicely so i'm really happy that i kind of came up with the idea of using one of the shadows as a highlighter because it's pretty flattering now that I've created this look, and as you guys can see, it's like super poppy, but really fun, at least I think so. Um, I want to go through the card, give you prices of every single product, and give you like a total value of my box for the month of May. So here we go. The Yensa Tone Up Primer Essential Glow product retails for $35.00. The Il Makeage, I think that's how it's called. I'm so sorry if I'm butchering it. It's the Icon High Volume and Intense Curl Mascara. Retail value was $25. The Avene Soothing Moisture Mask retails for $26. The Wander Beauty Wondrous Seascape Eyeshadow Palette retails for $26. And last but not least, the Go To Face Hero uh oil like oil for your skin retails for $34 if I total all of that together my box has a total retail value of $145 but the box does retail for $25 when you get it through Ipsy which is a really great deal and I always say it's a really great deal because come on guys like realistically speaking you get $145 worth of products for 25 bucks it is not bad at all whatsoever it is an absolute Bargain. Let me know down below which product in your May Ipsy Glam Bag Plus was your favorite. For me, it has to be the eyeshadow palette. All right, guys, that is a wrap for this video. As per usual, my social media platforms will be right here. Make sure you go follow me there if you haven't already. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.